Hey friends and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be here today because I'm going to show you my altar and um, it's really cool. <laughs> I really like it. It's honestly, it's the biggest altar I've ever had and it's just grown with me with my practice. Um, my first altar was just my vanity and then it just grew and grew as my practice grew and this is the biggest it's ever been and the most like space I've had for my craft and for my spirituality and so it's um it's really nice and the sad thing is I'm not gonna have this space in my next place so you guys might know that I'm moving and it's gonna be a very tight space for a while and then I don't know where I'll be living next love that um so i kind of wanted my cat just jumped on a box and i really thought it was gonna fall i kind of wanted to mister i just wanted to show um my altar i don't like to show working altars i don't show my working altars and so this is the first time i'm showing this altar my cat is really gonna get in that box son Okay, so I'm showing it to you now because by the time you see it, it'll be gone and I will share videos <laughs> about my tiny altar and uh, sizing down and everything like that um, for the time being, but I wanted to honor this altar because like I said, this is the most space I've had and it's been really great and I love having the room to move around and to, um, you know, have a specifically deity altar and then a working altar space, an ancestor altar space, a water altar space, all in the same vicinity. Um, so yeah. I do want to say you don't need a big altar, so don't see this video and think, oh my gosh, I need to have all this space, get all this stuff, because that's just not the truth. Um, I even think that maybe my space has gotten too much and has cluttered energetically, and um, when I think about the most like energetically conducive altar space I had, um, it was a lot smaller. Um, it was a while ago and it was a lot smaller. <sighs> Son, are you okay? Come here. Bubba. He's fine. Are you okay? That was a big old jump. Wow, that was quite a fumble. Mr. finally fell from the box, from the stacked boxes he had jumped into. All that to say, um, I don't want you guys to see this and be like, oh my god, I need a big space. This has been like a long time coming, a long time growing, and I had uh, a really nice privilege in this place to have a big setup, you know? And it is part of my job to do like tarot readings and stuff, and obviously these videos, so, um, you know, that space made a lot of sense. But I will be discovering firsthand sizing down, because like I said, I've never sized down. I've only sized up. So when my, um, this Gemini ass cat is like really trying to mess up everything in here and I'm worried about it. <laughs> so since I started, it's only ever gotten bigger and I've never sized down. So that's what I'm trying to say. So this next year will be my first time looking through all my stuff and, and really sizing down. And so I've done a lot of giveaways this um, past month. I did the 12 days of Yule giveaway on here and on my Instagram. So I was giving away a ton of stuff and I still have more stuff to go through. I haven't packed any of my altar things because I've been, you know, waiting to do this video. So I'm not gonna keep rambling, um, but let's just jump into it and yeah, get crazy with it. This is the man and this is the destruction. The first thing I really wanted to show, <laughs> kind of silly, but it's just something fun and it's also super messy right now. But this piece of furniture is actually my kitty litter box. Um, and so on top of it, I had put a cat altar. It was really cute. It's super messy now because of the move. But I have my two cat tarot decks um, for the cats, <laughs> and I know I'm insane, and that's fine, and that's who I am. Um, this cat, actually my uh, neighbor gave me this cat candle holder. She must have just knew. I have um, some catnip, obviously. <laughs> I have a cat stone, and then I have two crystals, um, tree and moss agate, super dusty actually. But I like to use tree and moss agate at the cat station, um, like wherever they're gonna hang out because these are really, really nice crystals to connect animals to um, like nature, which they really need to if they're indoor cats, which mine are. 
And then I have this book called Palmistry that I just thought was super silly and cute. Okay, so that's not even like my altar altar, but I just wanted to show you that. So now we're really at my actual altar space. First thing I have is my deity altar, which is actually made up of an old nightstand. Then I have my working altar. This is where I do my spells and rituals. And on the lower level, I have a couple of different altars. I have my water altar and then my ancestor altar. And then I keep my decks and books that I reference often underneath just so they're easily more accessible. And then I have my crystal shelf and honestly just a bunch of other stuff that is here. <laughs> So on the top of this nightstand is my deity altar. I have my matron deity on the left side, my patron deity on the right side, and all the little candles and trinkets associated to them. I have a um, journal that I just got that is a part of an offering to my patron deity. Um, and yeah, so, I won't get too deep into it, but this is like where I keep their stuff. I do enjoy having a very specific place for my deity altar because some of my spells, I, you know, am not specifically calling on them or I just like enjoy having a ton of space um, to do. And I like to give them their own space for their offerings, for when I want to talk to them and specifically when I'm doing stuff with them. So I have candles, crystals, I have some herb blends, um, some altar tools like my athame, a little cauldron, and yeah. So this is, yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of my altar and I'm gonna really miss it. I'm assuming my future altar is gonna be I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> like, just all together, honestly. Now I enjoy using, I'm gonna get down here. Can you see me? I enjoy using a, a nightstand or something with drawers because this is where I keep my herbs and my candles. I also have incense here and I have um, some incense holders. I have some like Sabbath decorations like for um, Ostera. I have stuff for but I just like to keep this like in its own place. I also just have some random books. And then this bottom drawer is really a mess. I haven't gone, I went through this one. Haven't gone through this yet. This is my organza bags. Yeah, they used to be color coded. <laughs> um, my altar cloths. I have jars in here as well. I have ribbons and stuff. Um, wall hangings and things like that. So some twine, some like crafty things. So this drawer I just need to go through still. Yay. I really enjoy having a um, floor pillow because I like sitting for my meditations and I just enjoy being on the floor, honestly. Um, so one thing I was talking about earlier, this white bookshelf was my first altar. And so that's kind of what I was saying, that like everything's grown with me. I'm not, like, it's just grown. I keep the things kind of a hoarder in that way, I guess. But this used to be my main altar. So I would sit on the floor. I would do my spell work here and stuff like that. And I really like being on the floor. I don't think I could ever sit in a chair. Like, I just don't think. I'm either standing, kneeling, or I'm sitting on a floor pillow. That's just what feels good for me in my body. But yeah. This is random things we don't talk about. This is herbs we don't have room for and other things that, you know what? They just, they fit there, so that's what happened. This is my working altar. Um, this is where I do things. I stand, I, again, like I said, I like standing or I like kneeling um, or sitting to be on this level. I really like having the two level system. I don't know, it feels good. I wouldn't say it's my dream altar setup. I think my dream altar setup has like a lot of cabinet space and is more compact though I, I love this and this like I said it's my favorite altar setup I've had lots of space for a lot of things and a lot of room up here which I really like um, 
Like, I just am a person who, like, I'll have my tray to do my spell work, and I need my space. Like, I can't be cluttered. That makes me feel really bad. <laughs> so we'll start on the wall above it. I have a lot of little knickknacks. This is where I keep my herbs. I literally, okay, I got this cabinet in high school, so. <laughs> Like, just work with what you've got. I really like this cabinet. It opens. Love it, need to clean this. Um, I've thought about painting it gold or maybe black. Um, but yeah, so I keep my herbs here. These are my go-to herbs. Like I said, I've got some herbs in that first drawer, but this is most of the herbs and stuff that I have on hand. Um, I just save a lot of jars, as you probably do too. Um, and yeah, we love to see it. I really like this set of mirrors that I have. Um, I actually got this, I inherited this from my grandma, so it's kind of nice to have that energetic ancestral energy, um, and I really like it. I keep my candles here, I light these when I'm doing spell work and stuff, and I think it looks really nice, and I love it, yeah. I also just have some other wall art there. Over here I have a bunch of wall art. I really like art. I don't know, I saw a TikTok one time that was like, witchcraft isn't about the aesthetic, it's not about the art. And I'm like, so true, queen. But also, look at the art. <laughs> this was done by my beautiful friend, Abby. She's amazing. She sent this to me for Yule last year. And it's like one of my favorite things. So I keep it here. I like to have a lunar phase calendar as well because it's just nice and easy to be like oh when's the next full moon when's the leo full moon blah 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 and i love this tapestry i got this at a metaphysical store because it looks just like my snake and the lady was like oh my god this is you so i ended up getting it um i made this a long time ago it's really funny guys this is a really funny secret you can probably maybe see i was given this is so funny, piece of decoration by my, by a family member. And it's actually a Bible verse. I don't know if you can see like the words underneath. And I was like, yeah, fuck that. So I painted over it. Oh, it's funny. It wasn't a good paint job or whatever. And then my dad got me that happy Halloween sign. And it's really cute. So yeah. That's what's up over there. Okay. A lot of my working altar is kind of apothecary things. It's a lot of space um, and a lot of crystals because I'm very much a crystal girly. Now I said it, I am. I have this candle here. I just work with pink a lot. Um, makes a lot of sense for me. And I keep my go-to personal tarot cards here. I do use these in readings as well. Um, but these are the ones that I am reaching for on the reggie, okay? I, I use these a lot, so. I keep those really close by, and this, we love it, my crystal ball. This was a gift um, last, two Yules ago from my husband, and I really love it, and it's beautiful, and it's like one of my favorite things, so I keep it really close by. Obviously, you know, things that are practical, like candle snuffers and stuff, Lots of crystals. I have some more like things that connect me to my ancestry or like family heirlooms and stuff like that. So I've got some oils here that I use for spell work, candle work and stuff like that. I have the pendulum that I use most often and this is just a tarot card holder. So if I'm doing a spell and I wanna have like the Empress card laid out to call upon that energy or if I'm like leaving the card out for my card of the day or whatever, I'll put it in there. I also just have a tea light candle and some incense. I keep my uh, grimoires and my journals up here when I'm not using it. I actually used to leave them down below, but it's very messy right now, so have them up here. This was made by the beautiful Wild Spellcraft. Um, I have a, a YouTube short unboxing it. This is like, this is one of my most cherished things. It is so gorgeous and I keep that thing on me. Okay, I keep it on me. This thing is so pretty. And it's one of those things where I'm like, now I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I was just about to write in it the other day and I was like, no, I can't. But I'm like, I have to because it, it wants to be used. It wants to be 
you know, that's its job. That's its goal in life is to be the perfect love witch grimoire. So I need to get off my fear of writing in my journals, which I know so many of you probably also like have felt that, um, and just do it. This corner is like the wild west and I love it. I really do. So I have some more oils, um, just things for different sort of uses. I have my lucky bamboo plant. He's been having a little bit of a hard time recently, but it's okay. He's gonna be a lot better in our next place. Um, I've got lots of crystals. A lot of the crystals I just like to keep their energy around. I have this incense holder that I really like. Um, some wax melts back there, more crystals around. I got this in a goddess provisions box and I've just been waiting to use it. So I've been kind of keeping it out. You'll find that a lot of the things that I get and I'm like, ooh, I wanted to use that soon. Like I'll keep it out it's just to remind myself because I don't know if any of you ADHD witches have this, but um, like if I don't see it, I forget it exists. That's that object impermanence. Like I'll just forget it exists. And then I'll remember one day and be like, oh my God. So yeah, these candles are from Fifth Moon Coven, um, which if you watched my PO unboxing, maybe you saw it. These are insane. These are so pretty. I love these so much and I can't wait to use them. So that's why they're out. <laughs> I'm like waiting for the right time. I have a um, sound bowl, a wax melt. I have another athame that I really, really love. This is more of like actually a wand than it is an athame. Um, and I actually broke one time, thanks to my husband, who's a silly goose, but I fixed it. So we love to see it. And like I said, more crystals, some family things, always keep a lighter. So this lower level has a lot of stuff going on, okay? So over here, I've got some books that I referenced. They're super, you know, crazily put, um, but just smaller books, books that I reference a lot. This entire cubby is all my tarot cards. Um, it is very full. Also, if you guys have any recommendations for how to store tarot cards, the most effectively but still be able to see them all i would really like that you know i was just talking about that object impermanence yeah i've got that <laughs> so like this goes back far and um i can't see all of them and i really like to see all of them so i've really tried to figure out how to stack them the most effectively and still be able to see everyone i've used like kind of risers things but I've had a hard time with it. So this middle compartment is kind of crazy right now. This is where I have a lot of other journals and grimoires. I have some tarot reference books. I have some more divination tools, um, but it's pretty crazy to be fully honest with you. And this last section over here is all of my go-to um, really important books that I reference often, um, things that I'm gonna be grabbing like pretty regularly um so i keep those just at the altar so you know sometimes you cast your circle and you're like oh shit i forgot the book or whatever you know it's all right here you know so it's i try to keep it as compact as i can so now we've got the top portion of this bottom part over here i have um so i have a little lavender sachet just to bring good energy but over here i've got my water altar um, I probably won't have a water altar in my next place as I am moving away from the ocean. Um, but while I lived here near the ocean, I wanted to, you know, have a water altar because I felt super connected to the energy of being beachside. And I mean, like I'm very much a watery person. So I have like my seashells, I have some crystals, um, I have you know, my water, my moon water and stuff like that. And this was just like a place to really concentrate that energy. I was really happy with this specific altar space because everything was so beautiful. And like this, I actually got from like a Goodwill or a thrift store a long, long time ago. And it's a really beautiful 
bottle for holding salts and stuff like that. Try to see if it'll, it's like super iridescent and it's so pretty. This I also found at a thrift store and I'm telling you that's the place to be for your altar supplies. Um, I've got my mermaid pouch, I've got another candle. I've got this really gorgeous pendulum that I like for healing. It's fluorite and um, tourmaline, fluorite and black tourmaline. So it's really good for healing and protecting. Um, and yeah, I just really liked this altar. This, this was a really pretty uh, part of my altar. I have another singing bowl. I know I don't need two singing bowls. That's something I'm working on. Um, I really like this altar cloth. This is one of my favorites. And then lastly, I have my ancestor altar. Um, I really like, honestly, I probably will make my ancestor altar in the living room next time, which is what I had it um, in my last place I was in. It was in the living room, which I just felt like was nice because then it's like your ancestors are with you. Over here, the energy did end up feeling kind of, uh, you know, kind of forgotten about, honestly, and it made me feel really sad. So the energy is gonna be different in the next place. So now I'm gonna do a whole video on my crystal collection, but I did want to show it because it is a part of my altar. It used to be super organized. I've got my essential oils there and stuff. And it, like, it used to be so organized by color. It is no longer, <laughs> but yeah, I actually found this. Get ready for another thrift store find. I found this. Uh, you know, what is this called? Like this little table thing um, at a thrift store and it was still, it was new in the box from the 70s. Maybe it was the 90s, but from like the 70s or the 90s, it was never been used before and it is so freaking pretty and I love it. And I just kind of weaved some fake vine around to it. I also have my abundance altar at the bottom. I like to keep that um, close to the ground personally. So that's my altar space. That's my main altar. I guess I do have some other altar spaces. I have like my, um, I have like a work altar that I've kind of taken down already from just packing and stuff. And then I have my vanity altar, which I'll just do a separate video on that because I feel like my glamour altar is kind of its own thing. Um, but thanks for letting me show you my altar space. It was really fun. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you just remember like, Altar spaces are so unique and there's no goal. It's just all about how it feels to you. And like I said, I mean, there are things that I'm definitely gonna wanna change. I'm gonna miss all the space. I'm probably gonna be limited to the top of a dresser in our next space. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted and maybe um, I can share some like tips as I learn them <laughs> for having a smaller altar space. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. I love you. Thanks for being patient on these uploads being less consistent. It's been crazy over here, you guys. Moving across the country. Again. Second time in two years. I'm dead. Literally, it's, it's so much. So thank you for being patient with me. I'm filming as much as I can and doing my best. But I'm getting pizza for lunch today, so I'm super excited. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.